everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my battles, and I'm in the Minotaur, a tier 10 British cruiser. I'm on the map Northern Lights, and unfortunately it's a standard battle. Now, one ship is already, well, one ship has been destroyed on each side. I shouldn't say already, because when you look at the time up there, uh, five and a half minutes have already passed in this game, and I haven't fired my guns once. <laughs> well, I'm going to do now, because I found a set. But the set is the first target that's actually in my range, because if I wanted to shoot someone, I would have to overextend a lot so far. Because it's a standard band, and oh, our Halland just detonated. Poor Valkyrie. At least he got flags. Oh, no, wait, you don't get flags anymore for this, so... Sucks to be him. <laughs> oh well. Uh, look at that. Not only could I shoot the set, now there's a Vermont actually. You know, I only needed to wait uh, five and a half minutes and I can finally shoot things. Now I'm hydroed by the set, which is a bit inconvenient. I think the Vermont can shoot me with this island, or at least that's the plan for now. So I'm reversing a little bit because this part of the island isn't very high. Now he is running like this behind this other massive island, so I'm not sure if. I need the one in front of me. Well, my Hydro is ready. And uh, Set's still here. Well, sorry, Set. <laughs> you probably should have run there. So yeah, I was basically just biding my time before the Hydro. This could have gone wrong because, as we can now see, the Hindenburg, Yoshino and possibly Montana have pushed far enough that they could potentially have gotten me here. But, I mean, I was beached there anyway. It's not like there was that much room to maneuver for me. But hey. Meanwhile, uh, the enemy team is actually somewhat aggressive here on that one flank. Otherwise, I mean, you know, Viper is just inside the enemy camp right now because... <laughs> uh, why not? So, I mean, the, the enemy has... I guess control of two zone walls and we have the third zone wall and the fourth zone wall is rather empty. Uh, have I ever told you how much I like standard battles? But you know, uh, the patience in this game so far has been paying off because I got a destroyer and now I can up you as a little bit and overall it's not looking too bad for our team. But yeah, it took it took over five minutes for me to first be able to shoot something. Now, yes, as I mean, not all you have a smoke screen, so I could have tried to overextend heavily into enemy lines and then smoke up in the open and hope that somebody provides spot. And hope that I don't get spotted by destroyer on my way in and have to panic smoke and I'm still outside of range and so it's just, you know. It wouldn't really have been worth the risk. But, oh! Oh, look at that. So my Hydro is still running, which is why I'm detecting this vampire, but the vampire's Hydro is running, which is why it's detecting me. And suddenly this has gone pretty dangerous because Slower is now shooting me. And... Well, that didn't do much. Well, hello vampire. Is it really a battle you want to take? I mean, I'll, I'll take the vampire. <laughs> uh... You know, uh, if, if the enemy destroyers uh, insist on feeding themselves to me, I won't complain. So, but uh, you know, Wiper has kicked up enough of a stir that the enemies are actually, well, some of them are coming back. This core first, I guess he, he just loves his own wall, he'll probably stick to it. There is a Montana that's still pushing into us. You know, I think the most important part is that Viper Spector here has kind of split the enemy forces. They had a pretty good push going, but now the push has basically been broken apart because a lot of the ships came back to defend. And on the right flank, it seems like they split up too. So that's good for us. But for example, this Kurfürst here can't even shoot anyone, right? The Kurfürst here has now for a while been doing nothing. Since the Goliath isn't spotted, that means also he has been doing nothing for a while, just sailing there. Which means our team is effectively just fighting four ships right now. And not going to be so healthy for those four ships. I almost have a smoke ready. Our team has taken the the Hindenburg, I'm not sure if he will charge in there to uh, Hydro. 
If the Hindenburg just keeps charging like it, he's going to be broadside to our battleships uh, there in the north, so... But then again, if he doesn't, he will have trouble to defend the camp. Not a great situation to be in, I guess. But, interestingly enough, there is now the Goliath. But we haven't seen the Goliath in a while, I've already assumed that he's gone back to defend, and there it is. Coming out of nowhere, but not really going to help him as much. If it would have been faster, he could have potentially surprised us because Viper was in his smoke too. But then again, I only smoked up when Viper's smoke was already almost dispersing, I guess. So, yeah. I'm going to pop in a Hydro. There might be troops from the Goliath at some point. I'm hoping that he will be going full broadside in order to launch all of his torpedoes. That wouldn't that be nice? And um, yeah, that definitely looks like a torpedo launch broadside. Allows me to get some nice damage in. If he would just like come at me nosing, I wouldn't do an awful lot of damage to him. Uh, the, the only times I get really good hits is when he uh, overexposes his sights. Now I've got only one launcher of troops against him because I feel like... I mean he might be hydroing, I don't know. But I feel like I might need the others once he gets close. Now he's going to detect me now because, well, he's close enough that my smoke penalty kicks in. But, you know, he also took a top to the nose. <laughs> uh, maybe he wasn't hydroing after all. So this worked out pretty well. Now the enemy is down to three ships. The enemy Kurfürst has finally joined the fight again. Not that it's gonna help him too much, I guess. Then again, I'm not actually sure how healthy our ships are there, but I'll deal with a cool first, probably. And if not, we are close enough that we could go home and defend. But meanwhile, uh, there is the Hindenburg, and I mean, I'm facing a Hindenburg and the Yoshino now. Now, the Yoshino could potentially go through my nose, I think. But it's not that interested. The Hindenburg, if I show too much broadside, can most definitely do a lot to me. But, you know. Well, not any longer. <laughs> I think they, they really wanted to sink Viper or something. But, you know. Uh, Rufus has been dealt with, now it's only the Yoshino remaining. And now it's over. And here we are with the results. I did get quite a lot of experience, considering that basically I did nothing for five and a half minutes. But my patience paid off. I didn't just get impatient and YOLO in, which is surprising, considering myself. Instead, I just waited for opportunities, and then, well, I guess the enemy destroyers were happy enough to feed themselves to me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time.